Hey, so today's video, I'm running a fiber drop up to the side of the house there. The D-mark is just on the left side at the top of the stairs. You can kind of see the tip of the power meter right there. And it goes underground through this change in terrain over and through there. Had a lot of issues with this. This is my se second time here because the conduit was blocked and I couldn't get the old copper service to move. So I had a hydrovac come out. Ducky step and uh, they steamed it out and sucked out all the mud and ice so now it's free and clear and uh, should have a smooth pull so i'm going to get all that set up and then uh, see how we can do it all right so i had someone ask about how i uncoil this without uh without it getting tangled or spun up so obviously take off all the wrappings that are on it and then i make sure that the end is out and free so that I have a starting point because usually I uncoil from this end and then I get a zip tie and for a 50 meter this isn't really necessary but it just helps to control it so I put it loosely like that and then uh, just leave this on the ground usually close to the MPT, the tub or the bottom of the pole and uh, from there I just start to spin like this and I kind of push the zip tie around as I uncoil and I just pretty much do that. As it gets thinner, you just tighten the zip tie a bit. The zip tie helps because you can just drop the coil and it won't come undone. Yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> okay, so here's how I tape the tracer onto the fiber. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. It's really not that special. I just kind of twist it around. And for this, I'm going to slide a bit further down. And I'll explain why in a second. If I'm doing a crazy long pull, might do some fisherman knots or something crazy but I'm expecting it to be a very smooth pull so I'm not worried about it so there's the tracer taped on come over to the tub and here is the copper line that I'm using don't want to pull too much because I don't have much slack at the other end this was taped on for my first attempt when I came here, but then found the copper drop to be stuck. And then I had the hydrovac come out. So I just want to line them up. If you're dealing with a small conduit, maybe a one and a quarter, one, and a, one inch or something, you want to tie string to this and then tie the string to this so then it's flat and not doubled up but for our purpose this will work so there's that there now i'm just gonna set this up under this it should work fine and then i'm just gonna pull the slack this could have been coiled into a figure eight outside the tub. But because I didn't have direct line of sight with this side of the tub, and I had room to lay it out for a smooth pull, I did it like this. Yeah, I did. Go. I got that stripped, get the needle nose, go right at it like that, pull back, 
and ideally you want to pull everything at once with the string the drop comes with it cut that off and now with this I try to leave this nice and long I'll show you in a sec clean the string off the fiber okay now with the scrap what I like to do kind of put the pieces back together it doesn't have to be perfect and then I just coil it in my hand okay we're back to the tub side first things first I'm gonna want to coil up the slack leave a tail and then what I like to do is grab it gonna, this tub is in like a weird dip so I just spin it around as I get closer that looks good there and then I'm gonna zip tie I won't fully tighten it yet. And then I'll tie this one without the tail, leave it loose. Tail there. Okay, then I cut the tracer. And for the tracer, I'm gonna pass it through this zip tie. Same thing I did in the nib. There we go. Then we cut this. Cut that. Open up port number six. plug that in see the arrow there right here is always facing away from the nap nice and hand tight the only thing I'm missing here is the tag I'm gonna go grab that in a sec we can get the copper back in carefully don't pinch any fiber Perfect. All done. Make sure we clean up. Alright, I'm just going to close this up and uh, that's her done. So, thanks for watching.